Hello, this is Mr. Kent of MrKent.com. Normally I'm talking about drones, but uh, recently there's been a couple of Boeing uh, aircraft that have crashed unexpectedly. And uh, watching the videos uh, of how that plane performs, I got to thinking maybe, 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 just maybe, uh, I can help a little bit with the explanation as why. Well. You're saying, Mr. Kent, what do you know about airplanes? I don't know much about airplanes. My dad worked for United Airlines uh, as I was growing up, and uh, so I spent a lot of time at the airport. And then <clears throat> um, when I uh, got out of college, for less than a year, I worked for Boeing as a, uh, I guess you would call it a design draftsman. And um, eventually, later on in my life, I got my pilot's license. And by the way, I'm going to put links to a lot of this stuff I'm going to be talking about, so be sure and check those links. Uh, but one of the things that I found interesting when I uh, was, well, what I was doing, I was throwing toilet paper out of my airplane. And uh, I've got a video on that, so you can watch that. Whereas you, uh, when you throw a, t a roll of toilet paper out, the, the, uh, toilet paper un, un, unrolls and the little tube at the bottom that the uh, toilet paper is, is uh, glued to falls at about a thousand feet per minute and so then you take your plane and you fly you try to fly through that uh, that uh, string of uh, toilet paper and clip it off and if you're good at it you can just clip off the top turn around come back click off clip off some more and uh, so forth but one day <clears throat> uh, or a couple of times, I put out some toilet paper that uh, uh, happened to, didn't happen to be glued to the uh, to the little tube in the middle, and so uh, what it would do, it would just clog up, and it would be just a kind of a a ball in the sky that was falling down. And uh, so I thought, okay, uh, well I'll tell you about that in a minute. Let's get back to what I started out to talk about. Okay, so I've got a history of flying, and <clears throat> when I got my pilot license, let me set that over there, and hopefully it'll stay there. Stay there. Hopefully it'll stay there. Uh, anyway, when I got my pilot license, they taught me that I'm going to need you again. Come back here. Uh, they taught me that the air going over the top of the wing has to go faster than the air underneath the wing. And so that's what caused the, uh, the plane to fly because this was going faster and there was less pressure on it. And <clears throat> I, I didn't know any better because I hadn't flown yet. But when I threw the toilet paper out, I learned some things. And uh, so uh, that's what I'm going to talk about. When, when you, um, that's what I was taught. And when you look at a video uh, of a wind tunnel, how the air is coming over the wing <laughs> like that, and it's going up like that, so they're right, it is going up and it's going, probably has to go faster to catch up with the air in the back, okay? That's what the wind tunnel shows. But if you think about Newton's law, there's a couple of laws, I don't remember what number they are, but there's one law that says <clears throat> an object at rest will remain at rest unless acted upon by another object. And then there's another law that says an object in motion will remain in motion unless acted upon by another object. And a good example is that, of that is <clears throat> little kids playing, I think it's called t-ball, where they put the ball on a, po a little uh, par uh, post and then the kids hit the ball <clears throat> with the bat. Now the bat is definitely heavier than the ball. And the bat comes around and it's in motion and when it hits the ball, the bat doesn't stop the ball goes. Okay, so this is an object at rest acted upon by another object and so it goes flying away. And, and sometimes if they hit hit it just right, they get a pop fly where this comes around and because the bat is round, okay, it, it hits the top of the bat and then it goes up. Okay, keep that in mind. Two objects, one's in motion, one's at rest. Now let's apply that to an airplane wing. Okay, and by the way, I've got, I don't know if these will work too well, but uh, let's say this is an airplane wing, and and in, in reality, the wing is moving and the air is standing still, which is opposite from the uh, wind tunnel. So here's the wing coming along like this, and it hits an object called air. Now, uh, if you take a square centimeter of aluminum 
it weighs a whole lot more than a cubic centimeter of air. In fact, to explain that, <clears throat> if you go clear up to the ionosphere where there's no more air, you take one, one uh, square foot of a tube, or uh, like a, 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 a uh, let's just take take a, a square, a foot square of air. But you take all that air clear up to there, and when it gets down to sea level, it weighs 14 pounds. That's all it weighs, <clears throat> and so air is very light. So when when the wing comes along and hits the air, which one's going to move? Well, it's going to be the air. And the way the wing is designed, the Wright brothers figured this out. The way the wing is designed, when it when it hits the when it's coming along and it hits the air, which was at rest. Okay, now the air is going to go like like the little baseball. It's going to go like that. And so the, the wings coming along, hits the air, the air goes like that over the top of the wing. So now we have, just a second here, so now we have over the top of this wing because of the way the wing is designed, and it doesn't have to have a lot of curve, the way the wing is designed, that air is going to go flying up like this, and there's not going to be any air right here. When you don't have any air, you have what's called suction or vacuum, okay? So what makes the plane fly as it's moving along? It knocks the air out of the way, and that sucks the wing up, okay? So, uh, hopefully that's understandable. Now, one of the things wrong with, uh, with what they taught me in, in flying school was um, this air has to go fast, whoops, this air has to go faster than this air. But if you look at the wing that the Wright brothers designed, it had the same curvature on the bottom as it did on the top. So that theory of having to go faster is all wrong because otherwise this air still has to go, in their plane, had to go fast to go like that. So the, the idea of going over the top of the wing fast, um, that's, that's, in fact, the, the computers prove that now, but back when I was taking my lessons, uh, they didn't have computers. <laughs> really, well, they had them but uh, they didn't have so many nice ones. All right, so now we know Newton's law has a whole lot to do with it, <clears throat> and uh, the Wright brothers' wing uh, proved that it's bouncing over it. In fact, uh, I, don't know, I don't know if you've ever watched my videos, but I've got videos on how to make a, a glider out of a pop can, and you'll notice that the wing is just a piece of uh, aluminum bent both, both sides the same, but this thing flies. I don't know if I can make it fly over the camera or hit the camera, but uh, here we go. Hit the wall on the other side, and I don't know if you could see it go, but anyway, uh, don't, don't step on that when I get up, okay? So, uh, the, the wing is, is, the air is standing still, the wing hits the air, the air bounces up, and on top of the wing, there's suction, and that's what makes the plane fly, all right? Now, let's go to uh, another plane. This is, uh, <laughs> there's, still, there's still grass from when I landed it last time. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> I have to laugh at myself. You'll notice that this plane has extra uh, things on the top to give it more lift, all right? So you got this wing and then you got this in front of it and it generates extra lift. But it also has flaps, okay? Now, if you're a pilot and you've ever spent much time at an airport and watching a plane come in and when it, uh, when it throws these flaps, okay? Well, uh, the flaps come down and that causes the plane to go like this, just a little bit, okay? So uh, if you watch carefully or if you measure it when you're flying your plane, uh, the flaps make it go like this because it puts a little uh, what's called lift, uh, added lift. And uh, so that, that's what flaps do. Now, we're going to put this over here. We're going to talk about, I hope we're going to put it over there. Stay there now, airplane. Okay. I don't want to broke. That's for sure. Okay, so my pop, pop can has lift because of the curve of the wing. And so let's go back to the little guy here. So when you're... When you're uh, uh, working with an airplane, you've got thrust and drag and lift and load. Okay, thrust is the prop. He's pulling the plane along. Drag is the wheels, the front of the wings, the body of the plane, all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> and so, and by the way, <laughs> when I bought my 170, it had a crack right there. It wasn't bad, but as the years went by, it got more and more. And finally, it got 
you know, it was serious and I should have replaced it, but I didn't. One day I was flying because I figured when it break, it would just come back and hit me in the head or something like that. But one day when I was flying, uh, it cracked all the way across. And you know what that, that windshield did? It popped up. There was so much suction uh, in front of the wing, there was so much suction that it pulped that up. Fortunately, it was tied tied down around here, so it didn't uh, it didn't fall it didn't fly over. But it would have it would have flown over the top of the plane. Okay, so so we've got lift, the suction up here, and we've got load, the wheels, the body, uh, the guy inside. That's called load, and that's pulling it down. And lift is lifting it up. And under the right conditions, uh, everything works great. By the way. Uh, if you're a pilot, you've probably heard of ground effect. Ground effect is when you start going and you're still on the ground and uh, you get extra lift because of ground effect. Uh, one time I was flying in the mountains and uh, I got to the end of the runway and dropped down like this. And as soon as I got to the end of the runway, I lost the ground effect. And so the plane started to drop and I was looking down at those trees pretty, <laughs> pretty seriously. Uh, but anyway, so, so you've got lift, uh, you've got lift, and, and load, and you've got uh, uh, thrust and drag, okay? So, as long as the lift and load are equal, you're flying along straight, okay? If you have more lift, the plane's gonna climb. Usually you get more lift when you speed up, okay? So, with the, with the uh, uh, planes that, uh, that, are, that are crashing made by Boeing, the 33, uh, 737, um, Max 8 that there's two of them been that have crashed lately. If you look at the videos and I'll put links to the videos, they take those planes, they're so powerful that the planes go like this and they start coming up like this and they start coming up like this. And uh and so in all the Boeing videos where they show it, everything is great. Uh but every once in a while one crashes and you wonder why. Well, um let's put this over here. <coughs> And let's look at this one again, okay? This one's got flaps, and I can't run the flaps without having the, having the uh, controller, and I don't have that. So, I mean, it's up on a shelf. So anyway, uh, if, if, you, if the plane's going like this, and you've got flaps on, then it makes the plane go more like this, okay? So they go up, they go up, they go up, and they show off their plane, and then they go like this, and you can see in some of their videos where it goes like that, and they've got the flaps on. But what if you don't have the flaps that make it go like this, okay? And you're climbing and you're climbing and you're climbing and you're climbing and you've got load and lift. So the lift is pulling this way and the load is pulling this way. Now you don't have an equal load and lift. And so it's going more and more and more and pretty soon, the, because they're going fast, they're not going slow. There's more and more lift than there is load. And if you have the uh, if you have the flaps on, then it keeps pushing it this way. So that's good. But if you don't have those flaps on, and you get here, you've got more with the kind of wings we use for normal airplanes. Uh, you've got more lift than you've got load, and so you just get sucked around like that. Now I don't know if that's what's happening, but that could be what's happening. And like you say, well the rockets go straight up. They don't have this kind of a wing. They they have. <laughs> Actually, they don't have wings, <laughs> but anyway, you know what I'm saying. So the lift pulls it, and that's good. Lift is great, but if you're going straight up and you don't have anything to keep it facing forward, uh, it just goes over like this. Now, I don't know if this will help. <laughs> like I say, I worked at Boeing for less than a year. I put in suggestions to their suggestion suggestion box, and I always got got a rev uh, a a reply back said thank you for your suggestion Boeing engineers are working on this so I never got any credit for my ideas <laughs> which is okay because I didn't I finally quit that job and went into school teaching and uh, I don't know why I went into school teaching but uh, that's what I was trained for because when I quit Boeing the project engineer called me to his office and he's the guy of the it was 707s they were making he's the guy over the whole thing and he pretty much said I he'd give me a raise if I would stay there. <laughs> but I told him, I said, I'm going to go teach because that's what I was trained to do. Now, that's another story. I won't get into that. But <laughs> anyway, so I, I left Boeing, went and became a school teacher. And it uh, looks like I'm still doing it. 
Anyway, uh, I, I feel sorry for the people who have lost loved ones. And um, uh, it's not a laughing matter that those planes crashed. But that might be part of the solution. That might be why. I don't know. Uh, this is just for my viewers to watch. But uh, if anybody works at Boeing, you might... <laughs> You might tell them why their planes are crashed. It's just not funny. I'm sorry. All right. Well, I want to thank you for watching, and God bless.